I sure hope this paddle is worth it. Man, there's a lot of grass on top of the water. That's not good considering I'm trying to ugh, fish top water. Oh, golly. That's, I didn't bring um, inline hooks either. Awesome. Uh, really awesome. Anyways, uh, probably about a two and a half mile paddle is where I'm at. The wind is actually coming out of a direction it shouldn't be coming out of, but thank God it's light. It's supposed to switch. Well, it should be coming at my face, but for some reason it isn't. And we're going to try and get on the shoreline, throw a top water, if it's even going to be doable because of the amount of grass that I'm seeing. And I just hope this paddle's worth it. If it isn't, then I get to paddle all the way back with a tail between my legs. Not really ideal, but I don't know. I'm feeling kind of uh, yeah, geez, optimistic about this. something folks could be on to something here the old the old dinkers are out it's a good sign all right so it's probably about five feet all right all right we're getting somewhere Considering how my day is going, I can't really complain at this point. I say, man, everything eats a shrimp. Everything eats, that thing hit the water and he was right on that. Literally. Huh. That might be the biggest one yet. See you later, bud. What we got on today's beer menu? Sweetwater Hazy IPA. One or two of these and I'll be good. I always bring a beer or two with me when I go fishing. Used to be a Coors Light guy. Way back in the day, man. Back in like, geez, I don't know. Oh, that's a... What is that? That's a catfish, I think. No. Uh, I bet you it is. I don't know, man. I don't... That might have been a red, actually. Just because... Nah, I didn't look... He didn't have a lot of gray on him. Like a catfish, so... I don't know, that might have been a red. Maybe a snook. But as I was saying about beer... Um, yeah, it used to be a court... Oh, I thought I saw something on there. It used to be a Coors Light guy back in I don't know, like 2000 or something like just loved Coors Light and yeah that kind of changed when um I moved in with my buddy Kurt and that guy <laughs> he loves beer he's German but he turned me on geez like everything I mean I don't like Heineken but started drinking like IPAs now I, now I love IPAs not like crazy crazy IPAs all right we're gonna have to try something else here maybe um Hey, mother trucker. All right, we're gonna stick with it. We're gonna stick with it. Back to the back to the beer. Uh, oh, good grief, man! I just let that one go down. I can never finish my beer conversation. Is that, oh, damn, I thought that was a right fish. Oh, dude, you're wrapped up. I'm never gonna finish this beer conversation with myself. Anywho, yeah, man, Coors Light. Got off drinking that. They yeah, drink Bud Light every every now and again. Ugh. Man, right in my face. I'll drink Bud Light every now and again. Like I didn't really care about that whole um, whoever they had promoting their beer. Like I don't really give a shit, man. Do whatever you want to do. It th I mean, I'm one of those people. I honestly just don't. I just don't get into all that stuff. I just drink beer. I mean, what's what's the problem with that? Love Modelo. And then, man, I like. Sweetwater, I definitely like their hazy IPA, which I'm drinking now. And then Sweetwater's got holy fudge knockers. 
Damn, for a second there, I thought that was a shark. That was like the size of the catfish I got last time. That thing, bro, I don't want to catch that. Especially with this little guy, man. The treble hooks. And, ugh, that is just a recipe for nothing but not fun. Oh, yeah. The Sweetwater. So they got this. I'm not a, I used to drink their 420 a lot. Kind of stopped drinking. Not stop, but... I'll drink it every now and again. And a hazy IPA, which is really good. And then they got this other one, the Strand. What is it? Strand, uh, let's see, Strand, 13 Strand, is that what it is? It's something Strand, but I love the packaging on it because it's all black and it's kind of fishing related. Yeah, that Strand one's super good. It's pretty hoppy, not like crazy hoppy, but it's, it's, got, some, it's got some kick to it. My go-to beer right now, if I had a choice, Sierra Nevada hazy little thing. I love that, man. That stuff's... Oh, that was a good... Did he just take my lure? I knew that was going to happen. <sighs> One thing that sucks about fishing with swivels, dude, especially with that lure, is with this swivel. I kind of bounce between fishing with swivels and doing loop knots, but I just... The, with the way the fishing's been, and it's been sl kind of pretty slow... You know, I'm changing baits and stuff, and it just the way that it goes through the swivel, man, the the uh, the loop, the metal clasp, whatever you want to call it, ring, is pretty thin, and then the gap between the swivel, how it, you know, how it goes through, it's got a little bit of a gap, so it, it can easily kind of push its way out, which is what happened, and uh, that's pretty much my fault that sucks because i like that lure oh crap there's a fish swimming around with a user in his mouth great all right Let's see if these guys like this one good old mirror lure broken glass oh oh gosh is that a catfish? Mmm, it's kind of feeling liking it. Liking it? Just give me my lure. I don't care what you do. Mmm. Mother trucker, gosh. Oh, goodness. What the? Dude, I thought there was a shark at first. I can't believe it. Jeez. What is your problem? <laughs> that was crazy. Man, you're kind of heavy for how small you are. Oh, jeez. You know, I've, I've had this happen where I put my lure back on the water and they end up, something comes up comes up and takes it probably another catfish oh jeez i'm gonna swim right back into my line not really ideal fudge man i gotta fight through catfish <sighs> annoying it's even more annoying is what they do to your line oh god it's so gross <sighs> come on trout be aggressive and outdo the catfish Yep, later. <laughs> kind of like how that was going to work. Exactly how I envisioned that to happen. Are those fish? You fucking they are. It's too snug. I can't tell. If they, if they are fish, they're the most statuesque fish I've ever seen in my life. Like, honestly. If I blow this, and those are actual fish. They were like sticks. Oh 
pulling rod. Got him. Okay, maybe they weren't snook. Alright. Yes, sir, folks. I swear, I thought you guys were sticks or snook. Definitely did not think you were right there. Dang. Oh, fish right there. All right, we got the redfish in the book. All right, I think I'm gonna hang around this flat for a little bit now. Oh, that was so, oh my gosh. Drag, drag. I'm not feeling good about this catch. As in something. Oh my gosh, something's gonna happen here. I just, I don't know. He's doing way too many acrobatics. Don't let him touch the boat because he's gonna go bananas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Look at that. All right, the day's been day's been slow, man, but you have just made my entire weekend, sir. Go on, girl. Yes. Woo! Look at my leader. From the loop knot all the way to pretty much probably a good 10, 12 inches a foot, whatever. Could he just scrape that crazy? Nice. Holy cow, right here, right here. Right in front of me. 10 feet. There's. What? Did somebody just turn on like the fishing light switch? Those are black drum. No, those are, yes they are. Those are redfish. Dude, look at them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's like, oh my gosh. That's a, oh my God, look at that snook. Oh god, the wind just blew me. Okay, so it's black drum and snook. How you guys doing? Later. Mother nature. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Goodbye. Oh, he came back. Dang. You know how much of a pain in the butt? It was for your battery to cut off. Hmm. Gosh, a battery died right in the middle of that. I tried to switch it out. That happened. I lost them. Great. They're stacked. They're stacked up in here. It's unreal. Unreal. I mean, they're everywhere right now. Back in the day, where this fence line is, right where he gets about, uh, I guess about right here, you used to be able to put in right there. So on the other side of that is 
a port and you could literally pull over and drop your kayak in right here and it was like no problems nothing and then i don't know what happened i don't know if it was a security risk dude it was such a good spot the motor no motor zone's right behind you but now i gotta paddle three well two and a half three miles but i'm just gonna guess security risk with people parking right there i don't know i'm not really it just sucked that they will no longer let you have access to put in another spot.